Camera control is a necessary skill for successfully interacting with cyber anatomy. Regardless of what you plan on doing with the sim, you will always need to maneuver the camera to change your view and focus on objects. All the camera controls are stored in the Navigate palette, located here. In this video, I will demonstrate each of the tools. The first tool on the palette is the Orbit tool. It allows you to orbit your view about a given point. To properly use this tool, simply click on an object or a point that you would like to orbit about and drag the mouse. So for example, if I would like to orbit about the wrist, I click here and then drag the mouse. Similarly, if I want to orbit, orbit about the ankle, I click here and drag the mouse. The second tool is the pan tool. It allows you to pan the objects across your view. Again, to properly use this tool, simply click on an object and drag it to the desired location. The third tool is the zoom tool. It allows you to move objects nearer or further from your view. Similar to the previous tools, proper use involves first clicking on a point of interest and then dragging the mouse up or down. So for example, if I want to zoom in on the ankle, I would click here and pull down. Similarly, if I want to zoom in on the shoulder, I click here first and then pull it in. It should be noted that all three of these tools will respond more appropriately if you first click on an object before dragging. This indicates to the sim your point of interest. So for example, if I were to take the pan tool and um, grab the shoulder and pan up like this. Now let's say I'm interested in looking at the ankle. I, if I enable the orbit tool and I do not click on the ankle but I just start to orbit by clicking somewhere out here, you can see the orbit is, the ankle is hard to follow when you're orbiting. Similarly, if I were to enable the zoom tool and try to zoom in on the ankle without clicking on it first, you can see that the, it, it just doesn't work that well. This can be avoided by simply clicking on the ankle first and then pulling in. The walk tool takes a different approach to moving the camera. This tool allows you to virtually walk into the body by clicking and dragging up to move forward, down to back up, and left or right to turn. You can also use the up and down arrow keys on your keyboard to change your vertical trajectory. And you can use the left or right arrow keys to slide the camera sideways. The final tool on the palette is the home key. This tool simply resets your camera to the home position. This is especially useful if you have lost view of the anatomy or the camera controls seem to be acting kind of funny. To allow for quick and fluid camera movement, we have designed the sim so that when no other tools are active, the default action of the mouse is the three primary camera tools, orbit, pan, and zoom. In this mode, the left click orbits, the middle click pans, and the roll zooms. So for example, right now you can see I have no tools over, on, over here active. So by simply left clicking on anything, on, on an object, I get my pan or my orbit tool. By middle clicking, I get my pan tool, and by rolling, I get my zoom tool. Furthermore, you can toggle a tool off or on by pressing either the space bar or double clicking on the blue background. So for example, if I did have the peel tool active, I can turn it off quickly by just pressing the space bar, which allows me quick access to my camera controls, and then I can re-enable the tool by pressing the space bar again. This can also be accomplished by simply double clicking on the background. If you are a laptop or a Mac user and do not have a middle mouse button, you can still use the spacebar to quickly turn off tools, thus enabling the orbit tool. So for example, right now I have the peel on. I can turn it off by hitting the spacebar 
and orbiting around. Since I, if I don't have a middle mouse button, I can enable the PAM by pressing the X key. And I can enable the zoom by pressing the Z key. You can also quickly enable or disable the walk tool by pressing the W key. And you can quickly reset the camera view by pressing the home key. The reset view has an alternate action of resetting the entire scene. This removes all anatomy and restores the simulation to its beginning state. To do this, simply hold down the Alt key and either click on the Reset View button or press the Home key. If you are a Mac user, hold down the Command key instead. Finally, it should be noted that all shortcut keys and alternate actions can be found by hovering over the tools. For more information about cyber anatomy, please visit our website at www.cyber-anatomy.com or for more tutorials, visit our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com forward slash cyber anatomy.